Hello everybody, it's Brandon again. First of all, I want to thank you all for getting my channel to 500 subscribers. That's a really cool thing. But we're not talking about that today. We're talking about how to share files between two Chrome OS devices. Now, I haven't tried this yet, so this is going to be me figuring it out in front of everybody on the video. And I'm recording it from the phone because, as you're going to see in a second, I'm going to try to test the sharing between a Chrome OS Flex laptop that I have set up, my Asus L210M, and a actual Chromebook, the Lenovo Chromebook 10e. So let's go ahead and look at that right now. Okay, here we have the two Chrome devices and a messy desk. Ignore that stuff. And on the uh, left here, we got the Asus that has Chrome OS Flex. On the right, we have the Lenovo with uh, real Chrome OS. Real, I mean, they're both real. So anyway, what I want to do here, I if you, first if you go to the Notification Center, there's this uh, nearby visibility thing, and it I guess defaults to off. What I want to do is turn that on on both devices here. And that's going to bring you to settings where you can set up your sharing. They call this one Brandon's Chrome device. I'm going to rename that to uh, Asus. Let's find one hand this here. Flex. Okay, let's confirm that. Visible for five minutes. That's fine. Here. Well, that's fine. Select who you can share with. Yeah, why not? All contacts. Confirm. The process was a little different on both of them. Okay. So I don't know what the deal is. They both kind of had me on a screen like this. Now if I go to Files, I thought there would be some way in here to see the other ones. To share with, right? Let's take my file. Maybe I right click on it and say share. What will that do? Nearby share. Searching for nearby devices. Oh, they found my Chromebook. I'll click on that. Oh, something interesting. I'm recording on an Android phone and something just popped up. So I think I could have shared to my phone if I would have responded to that notification. So that's neat. So I'm going to say that. And next and see what it does. Oh, I'll accept. And it's just transferring my file over. Now it takes a little while. That's only a two megabyte file, but this is going over Wi-Fi. But anyway, it's sent. There's my uh, file. It's a scan. If you watch my previous video about how to get printers and scanners working in Chrome OS Flex, this is what we scanned in that video. And so the uh, file came through properly. And like I said, um, when I went to there, and I can't show you because I'm holding my phone right now, but like when I right clicked on it and I went to share, a notice popped up on my phone. So I'm guessing that I could have sent that to my phone. Let me just, I hope it doesn't kill my recording here. I'm going to say turn on. Oh, and my phone showed up. I hope it's still recording. I'm going to say Brandon's phone. Next. Okay. I'm accepting that. Now. All right. My phone says it's getting something from Asus Flex. So that's pretty cool on Chrome OS. You can uh, easily send something to your phone. And I'll bet on the phone I can send something to my Chromebook. But uh, I don't want to totally quit the camera app while I'm recording. So my file's almost done here. Alright, looks like it's sent. Very cool. Um, Alright. So anyway, we tried something today and we learned something today. Um, it's pretty easy to send files from one Chromebook to another. And it's easy to send files from a Chromebook to a phone. And I suspect it's also easy to send something from a phone to a Chromebook. Of course, as long as it's Android. I doubt this just works on an iPhone. But anyway, I thought that's neat. Um, I also talked about in another video how you can set up sharing on Windows to access Windows files from a Chrome OS. So you can find that on the channel. And so, yeah, I think this is a cool feature. Works on regular Chrome OS or Chrome OS Flex. So if you like that, go ahead and like the video. Go ahead and subscribe.
if you want. Speak of subscribing, like I said earlier, we have 500 subscribers. I know for a lot of YouTube channels, that's just nothing, but for me, that's a lot, and I think it's cool. So thank you guys for watching and checking out the video, and I hope you all have a good day. Bye now.